All right, getting everything charged for tonight. I'm going to be bringing two phones, one to film with, one to run the HackShack 8 app. Uh, I've got all kinds of spare AAA batteries for the infrared flashlights. We've got two of those. I've actually got the big lithium batteries in here as well. We can use either or. Uh, headlamp, extra battery for the camcorder, which we're recording on right now, and then a great big heavy-duty spotlight. So we're going to have lots of light, lots of batteries. I know that sometimes things uh, get drained when we do these experiments and we go to these places, so we're going to make sure that tonight we have lots of juice to record and we're not going to run out of light or anything like that, so hopefully. All right, so we're ready to go. The only problem is neither one of us remembers where to go. We're gonna to have to find this place again. It's been a couple of years. Um, we've decided he's gonna do his own video for his channel. I'll do a video for my channel, and we'll just link you guys back over to his channel to check out his view, his side of things. He might capture something that oh, I, I don't, don't, so. He's not the only one with fancy night camera mode. Hey, two night cameras better than one. <laughs> He gave me this flashlight to use. Problem is, it's infrared. He offered me a real flashlight and I said, nah, I'm already regretting that decision. Like, I've got it in the bag, so you're lucky I brought everything. I have a flashlight for you. I can only carry so much stuff. Yeah, but you're gonna need a flashlight there, that's for sure. The we'll infrared see. is only if there's zombies and we gotta run, dude, and you don't wanna shine a light so they can see you. <laughs> If you guys haven't watched the daytime video that we made of this place two years ago back and watch it I put it up on the channel today. It's creepy as hell And it wouldn't surprise me if zombies were living in the basement of that place Speaking of which we didn't check the basement when we were there last time and I ain't checking it this time Yes, we are. No, I'm not. We're gonna check the third floor as well, which I'm we didn't go up to I'll do the third floor. We're gonna do it all That's your secret weapon? That's my secret weapon, Biatch. Okay. Come on. Alright, so we're there. You can't see it on the camera, but... We're getting... I, I can see the outline of the building against the horizon. and I can't see anything. We may have been told <laughs> this might be privately owned. We're not sure. So we're going infrared mode only. Infrared mode only. He's got some freaking World War II gas mask on. I can't see anything, dude, with that light. Dude. I don't know what you're expecting. Zombie apocalypse is I'm still going. Expecting to be able to get out of there without smelling that smell. I don't think you're going to smell that smell from last time. I think it was something dead. Um, it's kind of dangerous without lights, though. I can't, literally, can't see anything with my eyeballs. Hold on. Do you see a light over there? Directly ahead of us. What is that light? Is that light shining through the building? I don't know, there is a light inside there. Did you hear that beep? What? Did you hear that beep? I can't hear you with that mask on. I can't understand you with... I can't un understand you with that mask on, if that's what you're asking me. Dude. I am your father. Wait, that's on like Homer Simpson. It's a reflection of the glass. You look more like Homer Simpson. Wait, did you hear the people? No. But I definitely hear walking. Yeah, that beeping. What beeping? Is it this thing? Is there candles going in there, dude? Oh, 
Okay, no, I can see right through the building and it's the lights of the city. I can see lights way off in the distance. Okay, shit, I thought it was candles. So he's all worried about running the spirit box and I'm saying no, we gotta find a way to get in and look around, make sure there's no people here first. I'm not worried about this, what the spirits say, I'm worried about the homeless crackhead that's living here with the baseball bat. Okay, so they actually blocked it off. They've fenced it off and put warning signs here. They've actually blocked off the building, you can't get in here. And they've put up warning signs. So we were right, somebody did tell us that this is private now. And there's a code there. Door code or something, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we can do a spirit session from outside. What do you smell? I don't smell anything. I heard. Security cams. Oh, I don't know. Here? Or is it this one? I can hear beeping, but I don't know what it is. It's just in there, isn't it? No. I think it's your camera. Let's just get out of here. So we can't really do anything here. We can't get in this building. Um, I want to go to a place down the road. It's down a trail, a mile in the bush that I found. It's an old abandoned, maybe a 60s or 70s hunting camp. I don't know, full of graffiti. I never went upstairs in that place either. Um, but there's a graveyard just down the road. He wants to go to the graveyard. I don't want to go to the graveyard. So while we duke it out here for a minute, uh, we'll shut these cameras off and who's ever left standing is going to be the winner and make this decision. Wait, why don't we let the spirit box decide where we go? Okay, yeah, we can do that. Okay, so we're going to head back to the car and then we're going to let the spirit box decide whether we go to the graveyard or a mile through the bush to the other old abandoned hunt camp or whatever it was. And I've decided that investigating these places with infrared light only is just crazy dangerous. We can't see anything with our eyes. We need to look through the LCD on our screens to see where we're going. And that could be real dangerous because as I showed you guys in the daytime video there, there's an open pit beside that place, like a basement that was full of water. So really I think we need to go to places where we can use our flashlights and whatnot. Do spirits hang out in the graveyard? Shock in the woods it is. Not gonna lie guys, we're disappointed that we couldn't get in there. That was the whole plan. That's why you drove 150 kilometers. Trying to come up with a secondary something here is deflating. So the spirit box said something. I said, shock in the woods it is, and then I shut the camera off and it said, funny. I didn't find it that funny. Let's give it one more chance to see if it's going to answer. All right, spirits. Graveyard or the shack in the woods? Where do we go exploring? You pick and we'll go there. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, this thing's not going to answer us. I'll rock, paper, scissors you for it. Seems the only fair solution. Ah, that was scissors. Uh, best out of three. No. It's always best out of three, man. Okay, we're tied. Static. Okay. Woo! Shack 
in the woods it is! Okay, so the road's gonna end up another kilometer down here and we're gonna be hiking through the bush. Okay, we're at this dead end where we're supposed to start hiking through the bush. But we get here, I'm gonna do a slow drive here. Pan out the front of the car. We get here. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's a friggin' van parked here. Big deal. With a camping shit on the back of it. And he wants me to go down a trail in the middle of the night when that guy could be an axe murderer. There's some dude sleeping in his trailer, dude. He could be freaking down that trail 15 minutes down the trail at that... Town. Waiting to axe murder people in the middle of the night in a trail in the middle of nowhere where nobody goes. Yeah, that's a great spot to set up to murder people. He's, he's parked here. He's trying to sleep and you got your headlights and your car running and your... Now Buddy in the van over there is all concerned because he sees two guys pull up in a vehicle <laughs> and he thinks he's in a gay truck stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Just let's get out. Let's go. Let's do our thing. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want that light? If we gotta run, you're gonna wish you had a flashlight. <laughs>